guys good morning this is walk and talk here in freedom and surrender and i just wanted to see you guys today about um just finding good in the darkness because it's just been kind of confusing i think there's been a lot of confusion with everything i guess even in the world but especially confusion in like what i'm doing right now with homework and stuff it's been very confusing and so i keep asking people to help me a lot of them can't and i think my expectation a lot is to ask them for help forgetting that they have their own lives as well so it's so confusing to me with this whole essay i have to get done and I can't figure it out, but you know what? I'm asking God to give me the guidance to get this right. Because if people can't help me, then who is to say that God will not make a way for that help? As I was walking and praying in my heart of not knowing what to do with this whole essay situation, I finally, well, thank God, I was finally able to get some help for uh, fixing it from my friend Sylvia. I don't know what I would do without her because she is a passionate girl in English and writing all that stuff. So I'm just so happy that I have her. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for answering my prayer. So yeah, as I was talking about confusion and stuff like that, there's so much confusion in the world right now. We don't know which side to stand on. We don't know who's right, who's wrong in a way. And if one seems right and the other one seems wrong, in reality, what are the motives of people doing things? So it just makes you think a lot and not be so quick to judge people because that's what we tend to do as humans. We want to judge and we just want to say what we think. But we have to come together. You know, like the song, I just love that song that I hear at 90.1, 89.7. It could be even The Fish. And I love that song with Tori Kelly in it. Um, and uh, I'm trying to remember the other singers as well. Uh, I have them in my mind right now, but it's just not coming to me right now. So yeah, like if we fall, we fall together. And, and it makes it seem like we're speaking as a country like believing in god that if we fall we are gonna fall together yeah, i remember you know? the um band now it was for king and country and tori kelly all together and another singer as well in there and i found it beautiful my opinion about it was that if we fall we fall together but if we rise we will rise together and i think that's so important in societies that we learn to rise together that we learn to be strong with one another and not put each other down um even when we make mistakes everyone makes mistakes there's so many people at fault for certain things but you know god has shown us mercy and i just hope we can learn to be merciful to those people that even they don't deserve it god gave us mercy and we didn't deserve it so i appreciate the fact that we we can come together as one as one mind as one spirit and stand under god you know because a lot of the times we want to attack we want to be we right. have the upper hand we want to get our way and if we don't get our way we throw a tantrum and then that's when riots start most riots come from if something doesn't go our way we just want to force people to think our way and if we don't get it we're gonna act out with our tantrums and i don't think that's the way to do it we honestly have to have to come together as one and stop this without violence stop the whole situations of disagreements without violence like the people that should be fighting for us are the people at war they can use the physical but us weren't meant to be citizens and comply with the laws of the land just like the bible says we have to comply with the laws of the land and a lot of people don't want to do that they don't they just want to live how they think is best and they shut everyone out and so i think we need to start listening to voices what we have to do right now is start listening to others what their perspectives are what they believe and not 
fully judge them instead love on them god says that if we don't have love we have nothing if we had everything in the world but not love we would be like the clashing of us of symbols together like it would just sound regular boom 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 not accompanying it with instruments the symbols would sound all boom boom boring and with the instruments accompanied it all makes sense and so when you have love it's those missing instruments with the it's those missing instruments that make it all sound together so beautiful so i just want to encourage you guys during this time of confusion and chaos to lift your eyes to the lord and don't be quick to judge don't be quick to act like you're better don't be quick to speak without listening we need to learn to be good listeners. We need to learn to speak wisdom and things that are going to build each other up, not break each other down. So I hope this encouraged you guys today. Lift your eyes up to the Lord because that's where your help comes from. God bless you. So one more thing I forgot to say and give God the glory because it happened like two to three hours ago was for that assignment that I was totally confused with, I got a 10 out of 10. And I prayed about getting a great grade with this. So thank you, Lord.